I was going on YouTube. I just got home from work now. And I put the hood on that W4. And I thought you guys might be interested to see because it looks very sharp. I had some pictures of it out in the sunlight there on uh, Wednesday. When I had it out because I was home Wednesday, Thursday, of course, because of the whole little COVID deal. We had it work there. Got my results back and negative COVID. So uh, I guess that's always a good test of pass. I guess negatives have passed in this case. Anyway, but uh, I want to come back here and show you guys what this hood looks like on the W4. She looks sharp. Really sharp looking tire. Yeah, what do you guys think of that? Should have come a long way. But I'm all out of uh, red paint once again. I managed to shoot down to the three cans of paint between the gas tank that I did twice and the uh, hood there. Got, did a couple touch up spots and whatnot. I'm going to pull the seat pan up. I'm going to wire wheel all the bra brackets and whatnot. I'm going to rip up the trailer tomorrow and grab some more paint, of course. Wanted to come in here to get my uh, draw bar bolts. I'm going to rip the trailer tomorrow. I'm going to see if I can find this nut over here. I think I dropped it somewhere. But if not, let's go buy another one. Whatever, no big deal. Not the end of the world. Unless it's underneath here somewhere. But in other news, I if I can get my phone here to show you, I did paint the outside of that wheel too on Wednesday when I was out here. So been kind of looking at some parts this morning for uh, some decals and whatnot. I think we're gonna go with. Uh, I know Steiner's got them for about sixty bucks give or take and uh shipping that's with shipping so that's not too bad but there's another company uh maple hunter decals in indiana they got about they're about half the price for the same darn thing so i think i'm gonna order them up and they're a pretty good brand to deal with apparently so i've heard from a lot of guys up this way oh excuse me a lot of guys up this way are uh using those so i figured i might get myself a set of those well i started on this uh draw bar here it never did bother to take it apart i figured well it's just easy to get in there with a drill and a wire wheel and clean up i wasn't too happy how this turned out so i re-scraped it and i just had managed to have some can of primer sitting here so i uh just dressed the bare steel up with that so that we didn't get rusty on me a couple days later because yesterday was supposed to rain so what i'll do i'm gonna give this a, another coat of paint touch up a few spots i'll flip it over to the bottom side maybe at the end of the weekend be able to have that back together i'm gonna put grandpa's little wire wheel like through its pace again we'll get those cleaned up then i want to get this toolbox cleaned out and then i can go ahead and get that cleaned up and get it painted i can put the toolbox back underneath there now anytime of course it's full of all the little platform bolts that are left and uh, little brackets for the fenders and whatnot got that battery box to do i might get that power takeoff shield cleaned up here today too at some point and uh, once again i gotta clean this shed up i do gotta do those lights still so uh yeah Got some wire wielding to do in here yet. Go run this cord over the house and we'll uh, start grinding. Not bad for 1951 bolts. I gotta look and see if I can find that other nut. I think it's in that toolbox there, but I uh, gotta have a look. Okay, it's Saturday morning now. I figured I'd just tag on my Saturday video on the one I started there last night. I'm just kind of on the way back from Charlie's here, just a little bit north of Cookstown. Oh, I might rip into Allison into the John Deere dealer there real quick, see if there's anything I got to have. I heard that the uh, 8RX410, they're out now, the, the John Deere 8 Series, the road track version of that. So if they're out and he's got one there on the shelf, I might just go pick it up just for a laugh. And that way I can say I got one. So uh, I'll go for the ride over there. I'm meaning to go down to that. There's another dealer I used to go to all the time in Nobleton. Now, long story short on that dealership, it used to be an Oliver White dealer back in the late 60s and 70s before Oliver went out of business. But usually that guy in Nobleton has got a lot of used lawn tractors down there and I'm still kind of looking for one, so. Ah, uh, we'll go take a look down there. Maybe next week I'll go down there. I don't want to drive around all day because I want to go home and paint tractor parts, so. Anyway, if we see, see anything cool over at uh, Alliston, we'll take a shot for you guys. But Charlie didn't have seen to have too much of a lot and he didn't seem to have the paint supply is getting a little low in there, so I don't know if everyone's paint tractors right now, he just hasn't ordered any more painting, so. Oh, well, no big deal. Got what I needed anyways, so. I'm going to drive on here, guys, and we'll uh, check in with you guys here in a little bit. The weed field up here looks really good. We'll be cutting weed up here, usually on the same weekend at Cookstown. The Cookstown Steam Show, usually a lot of guys are up here cutting wheat in the August long weekend. A lot of fields up here browned up real nice, but, uh, yeah, anyway. 
I'll check in with you guys here in a little bit. Well, I found this big brood up here at the uh, Allison John Deere, the new 8R series deer. This is a uh, 8 series, but 370 horsepower. This is, I guess, middle of the lineup now because I think 410 is the big, the big uh, track in the lineup now, but got some pretty decent tires on it all the way around. Got these uh, changing mirrors up on them a little bit. and got all this LED lighting on them. Just like looking at the front end of a new car. This is friggin' sweet. Of course, it's got the same, I guess, the ILS suspension. John just had for years. Very futuristic looking, so it's kind of interesting because I've seen them online, of course. They don't have a track version here, but they got the wheel version. Oh, this is, uh, the tire size is here. 54. 380, if I can read it, 380, looks like 90 R54, holy crap, 54 inch wheels, weight packed of course, big three point, yeah it's category four hitch, look to it, all your hydraulic outlets, big track, you got all your you run your PTO from the back side of the tractor and then you get back in the cab. More LED lights, more LED lights on the cab. I'm not going to crawl up there and take a look in the cab or anything, but uh, yeah, that's a fair chunk of a tractor, that one. Yes, they have it I was looking for too, so I decided to pick that up. Anyway, we're just on the way back home here and I wanted to make a little mention in the video. Should be down in Athens, Farmersville right now. Have the 1820 up to the show, the hometown show for that tractor, as I do call it, because the tractor's from there and been there its whole life, other than well, about the last year or so. But with the whole COVID-19, don't have any shows this year whatsoever. So no Farmersville. Oh well, he's always next year. Alrighty, we made it back home, and here's what I got now. I'm gonna take the whisk there and clean off the draw bar a little bit i did get it primed up i mean i wanted to take the little supports off because it's easier to grind them on the wire wheel than just do it with a wire wheel on a drill but got it done anyway got the uh part where the draw bar slides back and forth on i got that cleaned up ready to go got the pto shield cleaned up and ready to go so i got the red paint here now i just got in the door here a minute ago so uh i'll go at this here in a minute and whatnot and after that's really just a fender and the toolbox but yeah, it's still kind of early up here yet. Things are kind of peaceful, so I'm not gonna get here and start grinding. So, you still spray paint though. That's quite a job. Anyway, I'll go stick that 8RX in the uh, glass cabinets there and go outside and paint some stuff up. I'm not gonna make you watch that. But that's pretty much what I got going on for you guys today. And all this excitement for about 10 o'clock in the morning here. So, anyway, I'm gonna go outside and spray some paint and whatnot and think around and uh, maybe have another video for you guys tomorrow. And we'll uh, see you on the next one. As always, thanks for watching. Please comment, rate, subscribe. We'll see you on the next one.